Did you ever notice how a crisis causes you to completely rearrange your priorities? I am Reverend Allie Beerman, and I'm very glad you joined us here today for our gathering of Metaphysical Ministry International. So what is metaphysics anyway? It explains the philosophy that is quantum physics, how we create our reality. Everything is energy, and what we think goes out is very real energy bringing to us that which we're requesting. The fact is, more than 99% of the world that exists is of something we can see or hear, taste, touch or smell. It's invisible until you allow yourself to open to the other dimensions behind or beyond your five senses. And then the whole world becomes a much more interesting place. And we begin every week with a happy share. And my happy share, I spent five months working on a book and another two months in the post-production by other people as a gift that I, as a writer and a founding partner in the Chronicle of Veterans Foundation, we do is we write books to honor the lives of veterans, to leave as a legacy for them, for their families. So I spent five years plus the two in the post of my production part creating this work for someone who I very much love and honor and respect who recently turned 90 years old, and I just got that finished product yesterday. I get to deliver it on Tuesday. Seven years, seven months, my goodness, not seven years in the making. I'm extremely happy about that. So, what is it about a crisis that causes us to change our priorities? Well, let me give you an example. I became a grandmother three months ago. And my grandchild is one of the 6,000 people born with Down syndrome in the United States. Down syndrome is the most widespread genetic condition. Nobody knows why it happens. But here's the thing that's interesting about it. The crisis comes in, we weren't expecting it. My daughter didn't know, none of us knew. And these are scary words. And you know nothing about the condition. And when you go to the doctors, and apparently there are very many health conditions that can happen in the life of a Down syndrome person. Their bodies aren't formed exactly the same way that most everybody else's is. So this teeny weeny baby had to go through all kinds of scary and sometimes painful testing. I mean, all kinds of specialists. And her mom and dad had to go through taking her to all these places. And hearing the words, we don't know how your child's life is going to be. There's no predictor by what's showing now and how she will develop. But you know, stop and think about it. Does anybody ever know how their baby will grow up and what kind of functioning their baby will have. Because that's going to depend on life experiences, on, yes, a genetic makeup, on the environment, on the love received. So when you have expectations for your child to be a certain way, or your grandchild, to be a certain way relating to your child and to you, and then you find it's going to be different. You stop and realize what's really important in life, that they reach these certain goals that society says are important. No, it's that the child, the grandchild, the family is loved, honored, respected, and happy. Because happiness, it is an event that happen. It's not milestones, stones that you reach. Happiness is 
And what happens in here? How you look at the world. All that matters is how you see your world. Now, if you look up there on the ministry page, you'll see a page called Hold the Space Form. If there's something in your life you want to manifest, something you want to bring in, make it your reality, tell us what it is. It'll appear up on that page. You've got to come back at least once a week. Tell your friends and family to come, too. Read each name on the list. And don't worry about the fact you don't know the people. The universe knows who everybody is. Read each name and what they want. Everybody else will do it too. And that will increase the size of the thought form going out to the universe from you, from each person, for what they want, from the little one person doing it, to a dozen, to a hundred, to a thousand people making that same request to the universe. Now, if you haven't done so already, go on over there. When you leave your name and email, I'll send you a copy of how to take your first steps on your spiritual path. I'm so glad you came by today. Let us know you were here. And I really appreciate your clicking like and share. And I wish you a week filled with a blessing, with many blessings of knowing life is what you make of it and not what anybody else tells you it should be.